Hello, welcome to my new video. Today with my Men in Black Steelbook collection. I have three uh, Men in Black uh, trilogy steelbooks from UK and one from Germany. I have this beautiful, beautiful full slips uh, from Kimchi and from um, and from the Wit collection. Lenticular full slips from MIB 1, 2 and MIB International. For some reason there was no release of MIB 3. So I have uh, two still books of MIB 3. Extra one from UK and one also from Germany. So I will begin now with um, Men in Black Trilogy still books. So here they are. First the J cards of the German one. The J card of the UK Blu-ray one and the 4K Ultra HD J card. Uh, yeah, this one comes with um, with a so-called hero pack with a statue. I may show it in one other video. I have two statues, uh, two men in black statues. So, it's beautifully embossed here. And here this nice artwork. Here this UK still book. This metallic finish. Also embossed. And here with other artwork. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, both agents J and K are embossed. And here, last but not least, to be honest, my favorite, at least favorite, uh, front artwork. Uh, unfortunately, not embossed, but <laughs> this I like this drone. Creative artworks, MIB trilogy. With those coffee loving alien worms. Now let's look what's inside. It's a four disc uh, media book, uh, media book, a still book, of course. Uh, Man Black, Man Black 2, and 3, part 3 in two versions in 2D and 3D. And here's the inner artwork. The metallic uh, still book with some promotional material, nothing special here. And here are the three discs without 3D version this time. And here's the artwork inside without the discs. Man Black Headquarters. You can see the embossing here. And now to the Ultra HD still book. And that's just boring. Six di massive six disc of um, still book with very boring Ultra HD artwork and without any artwork inside. Now, before I come to the full slips, at first the Men in Black 3 still books. Here's the first still book with artwork that, well, MIB, I hope you can see it with a lot of MIBs to build the face of Agent J and the same with Agent K. And here is the J card. So, and here's a really cheap uh, German still book. I really like this artwork. It's, it's, it's much, much better than the than the UK one, but the back side, <laughs> this one doesn't need a J card. As you can see, it's the very same. Yeah, well, it's also a really, really cheap finish, and the rating and the the ID, the ID. Oh well, <laughs> all printed on the steelbook itself. 
Now let's look what's inside. A lot and lot of bits of paper. It's, uh, there are the digital cards of all three movies. Well, I don't really care about them. And here some stuff and so on and so on. Nothing special here. And here very nice uh, artwork. Only one disc edition without 2D or Ultra HD. Where Boris the animal tries to escape the moon prison. Really nice artwork. So, and after this, uh, this one is so cheap, as you can think what's inside, nothing. No artwork. But folks, to be honest, this, this, this artwork is so ugly. Please let me know in the comments below what do you think about this artwork. I mean, I mean, this artwork on a better still book would be simply terrific. But, well. Now, finally, to the full slips. For some reason, as I said before, for some reason there was no release uh, of uh, Man in Black 3 in a similar uh, in a similar edition. These two were released uh, a couple of years ago, whereas the Wit Collection was released directly after the release of MIB International. And it's just a terrific artwork, much better than on the both uh, other uh, full slips. It's it's really stunning. Yeah, the J cards in Chinese, obviously. And now to the back sides. The slip covers. Oh, just just nice. Just just beautiful. So yeah, the spines of the full slips, or the slip covers actually, and they match just perfectly. It would be really great to see here Men in Black Three, but well. Blu-ray, Blu-ray, Ultra HD, with different uh, different aliens from the movies. And here are the three still books. Well, these two match better, but uh, to be honest, I like this artwork much more. And uh, well, to be honest, I I really love all four MIB movies. I've watched uh, MIB International a couple of times now and I think it's really creative, really fun. The new characters do a really good job. The artwork without the disc. And I will show the goodies together with other, uh, yeah, with other content of the other still books. So Man in Black 2 matches really nearly perfectly. Here's the back side with Frank. Here is what's inside. Well, really boring artwork without the disc. So, well, unfortunately my um, MIB International Steelbook is, 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 is damaged and I had no way to, to replace it since it was bought in a fair. Um, but uh, fortunately it's an international, pun intended, international Steelbook. Which is not that expensive, so I, I, well, I had to buy it. Another copy of the still book itself. So here's a still book, a separate still book with really terrific artwork. One of very, well, when one of one of the international still books that has, that is extremely, extremely beautiful. Unfortunately, without debossing or embossing, but this artwork, these colors are just, just amazing. In contrast to some other still books. Like the atrocious uh, red uh, Deadpool 2 still book or ugly uh, Ready Player One Greed still book. So here's what's inside. Really nice uh, artwork. So and here are the both agents. Yeah, and here it's it's the still book from the full slip here. Unfortunately, heavily damaged. Well, well, yeah, but. Re really good that it's it's not the in this case it's it's good that it's not an exclusive 
steelbook, but then in this case you couldn't really replace it very easily. So in this uh, one, uh, actually two discs, Blu-ray and Ultra HD. Blu-ray with another artwork. Uh, oh, well, I should know my editions better. Yeah, uh, three discs, <laughs> Ultra HD, Blu-ray and a bonus Blu-ray. Yeah. So now before I come to the goodies, at first uh, my usual spine comparison. Here uh, the spines of the three trilogy still books. Here really similar, with a similar uh, background color for the trilogy bird. Yeah, the spines of the separate still books, MIB, Man in Black 2, Man in Black 3, they match well somewhat nicely. This doesn't match at all, and International, to be honest, doesn't match at all either. Well, now let's look at the goodies. Well, it's nowhere near somewhat like a Film Arena Full Slip. It's one of the uh, those three are among among those Full Slips, our well, slip covers, without any booklets, unfortunately. So there are only cards. Some nice cards from the movies. Uh, a usual sticker. I cut it, I usually cut it out. Uh, yeah, here it is. Shikimchi DVD edition has a sticker. The edition 33. I, d I don't like at all when, 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 when some, some folks, they unpack the, the full slips and, and, and place the sticker on a box or on the cart. It's, Completely unnecessary. You can cut it. You can cut it out and keep it uh, safely in the seal book. Here it is with this really beautiful embossed um, uh, number, the numbering card. I really love the numbering cards of uh, of kimchi. This really, real credit card like cards with really beautiful artwork and this very beautiful embossing. Again, the same procedure, uh, some cards from the second one. I also really liked Man in Black 2, which was not uh, that um, well received, not as well received as the first one. I don't know why. Uh, I, I, I actually have... Uh, I don't know. I, I simply like uh, this kind of movies. I also liked R.I.P.D., and well, Wild Wild West, very controversial, I know, but well, I, I, it had some 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 dumb scenes, Wild Wild West, but uh, I thought it was a great movie, actually. So, here I also have a still book of Wild Wild West. I may show it one one day. So, Kimchi uh, exclusive thirty four. The first one was thirty three. Sticker. I hope you can see it. And here is this beautiful, beautiful numbering card. Limited actually to 2000 pieces. And of course I have the same number on both of them because it was a one click. One click without an outer box. So it was simply, simply wrapped together without any other things. And now same procedure with uh, Man Black International. Pony. I love this character. So fun characters. And for me at least it's very unfortunate that there will be no, no sequel to Man Black International. Just, just cute baby looker. It's still book like artwork. And now to the card. So this time it's Wit Collection number 14. As far as I know, Wit Collection is also from Kimchi D 
DVD. You can correct me in the comments below, but as far as I know, it's it's like uh, Film Arena with Black Barons or FAC. So, and here is this incredibly beautiful card. It's terrific. Similar structured, similar made like the the, the other cards. I really like these cards. So the backside. MIB International. So, folks, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification button. Leave a thumb up. Let me know in the comments below which is your favorite Man in Black uh, movie. You can leave your ranking here. Let me know in the comments below how did you like this editions. Till the next time. Bye bye.